Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and configure a bungee cord network. Bungie cord is a proxy server software that allows you to connect to a network of servers through one IP address. So the easiest way to describe it is with this diagram that we've created. So here you have the bungee cord server, which is a server that forwards the player onto a hub or lobby server, as you can see here. And then from here, the player will be able to connect to different servers such as a factions or kit PVP server without having to log out and log back in with the different IP address. They'll be able to do it in game with commands or through portals. So now that you understand how Bungie Cord works, we can begin installing it. The first thing you'll need to know is that you'll need more than one server to run Bungie Cord. So I have an account here with four servers in total. I'm going to be using one for the Bungie Cord server, one as a hub server, one as a survival server, and one as a faction server. So the first thing we'll need to do is set up the Bungie Cord server with Bungie Cord installed. So I'm going to go to the control panel for that, for that server. And then, then we're going to need to download the bungeecord.jar so we can run the server off it. So if you go to your browser and Google bungee cord spigot, the first link that should come up should be bungeecord dash spigot. Click on it, go to the downloads area, which is down here. And then this should bring you to a page where you can download the bungeecord.jar. So now we're gonna go back to the server and we're going to wait for this bungeecord.jar to finish downloading. Now that it's downloaded successfully, we can go to the file manager and then click upload file, choose files, select the bungeecord.jar that you just downloaded, click open, upload from computer, and then we'll wait for this to upload. Now that this is uploaded, we can go to the my server tab, Scroll down and next to jar file, there's a drop down menu and you should see bungeecord.jar. Select that, click save and restart. And this will begin generating all the files that we need for the bungee cord server. So whilst it's doing that, we can go to the other servers. The first one I'm going to do is the hub server. So click control panel and we'll need to change this to spigot as spigot is compatible with bungee cord. So we click change click spigot. I want to run the latest version, which at the moment is a 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2. Um, I'm going to click no to remove files as I want to keep the world that I'm using. Click install and then that will begin installing. So now that that's installing, do that for the other servers that you may have that you wish to connect to Bungie Cord. And then once you've done that, go back to the Bungie Cord server. So now that we've installed Spigot and Bungie Cord on all the servers, we can begin with the setup process. So if you come to the Bungie Cord server, go to the file manager and then open the config.yml file. And then this is where you configure everything to do with the Bungie Cord network. So the first thing that we're going to do is add the servers to this. So under the servers tab, there'll be a default server here, which will probably be called lobby. So we're going to change this to the default server that we want, which is hub. Yours may be different, feel free to name it whatever you wish. And then we're going to grab the IP address. So here, this is where the IP address for that server goes. So if we open the My Servers tab in a new, in a new um, tab, and then go to the Hub server, and then grab the numerical IP address, and then take that back and then paste it. And then we're going to do the same thing for the next two servers. So you just copy and paste that one. And then you just go ahead, rename and add the IP address for the other, other servers. So now that we've added all the servers to the configuration file, we'll need to change a couple more settings. Up here, you'll need to change the IP forward setting to true. Scroll down and you'll need to change this priority setting, preferably to the main server. So in this case, it's the hub server. So I'm going to change it to hub and it needs to be the exact name as what you have up here. After that, you'll need to change this host option here. So you'll need to change this to the IP address for your Bungie Cord server. So if we save this file quickly, go to my server, copy this IP address, go back and reopen that file. And we just need to change this. So we'll paste it in. So this is the IP address which you'll use to join the Bungie Cord network. So once you've set that, 
you'll be able to change this setting down here, which is quite a popular setting to change. So force default server. This is where when someone joins your network, if you have this disabled and say someone joins your network, they go into a faction server, they leave. When they join back, if this is set to false, they'll go straight to the, um, the faction server. If you change this to true, they'll automatically be put back onto the hub server. So I want this so that players are put back to the hub server every time they join. So I'm gonna change this to true. So after you've done that, you'll be able to save it. And then you'll need to go to one of your other Minecraft servers that has Spigot running. So I'm now on my hub server and we'll need to start configuring it so that it can connect to the Bungie Cord network. And you'll need to follow the same steps for your other servers that you want to add to the network. So if you go to the file manager tab and then open the spigot.yml file, and then you'll need to change this Bungie Cord option to true. So change that to true and then save the file. And then in the server.properties file, open that. You'll need to look for the option online mode. So here it is and you need to change that from true to false and then you need to save that and then you need to restart the server so do this for your other servers and then once you're done go back to the bungee cord server and restart that so now that you've restarted and applied all those changes to your minecraft servers and you've restarted the bungee cord server go to the console for the bungee cord server and see that it says listening on as the last message and this usually means that it started up correctly so now that you've done that, you can go to your Minecraft client and launch the game. So if I just open multiplayer, add the server. So I'm just gonna call this um, Bungie Network and change the server address to the IP address for the Bungie Cord server. So you can use the host name or the IP address. So click done and then it should find it and you should be able to join it. And as you can see, I've joined it and you should be able to teleport to the other servers with the command slash server. So as you can see, it comes up with them. So I'm gonna go onto the faction server to check it's all working, if I spell it correctly. And then again, I'm gonna change the survival server just to check it's all working. And there you go. So that's how you set up Bungie Cord on your Minecraft servers. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact our support and we'll be more than happy to help you. Um, and feel free to watch any of our other videos as they may be of help to you as well. So thank you for watching, have a great day, and goodbye.